Now these are the names of the sons of Israel who came to Egypt with Jacob. They came each one with his household, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulon, and Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. And all the persons who came from the loins of Jacob were seventy in number, but Joseph was already in Egypt. Then Joseph died, and all his brothers, and all that generation. But the sons of Israel were fruitful, and increased, and multiplied, and became exceedingly mighty, so that the land was filled with them. And a new king arose over Egypt, who did not know Joseph. And he said to his people, Behold, the people of the sons of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it be in the event of war, that they also join themselves to those who hate us, and fight against us, and go up from the land. So they appointed taskmasters over them to afflict them with hard labors. And they built for Pharaoh storage cities, Pitham and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied, and the more they spread out, so that they were in dread of the sons of Israel. So the Egyptians brutally compelled the sons of Israel to slave labor, and they made their lives bitter with hard slave labor in mortar and bricks and in all kinds of slave labor in the field, all their slave labor which they brutally compelled them to do. Then the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, one of whom was named Shifra and the other was named Poah, and he said, When you are helping the Hebrew women to give birth and see them upon the birthstool, if it is a son, then you shall put him to death. But if it is a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not do as the king of Egypt had spoken to them, but let the boys live. So the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this thing, and let the boys live? Then the midwife said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are vigorous and give birth before the midwife can come to them. So God was good to the midwives, and the people multiplied and became very mighty. Now it happened that because the midwives feared God, he made households for them. And Pharaoh commanded all his people, saying, Every son who is born you are to cast into the Nile, and every daughter you are to keep alive. 